Hey guys, this is Chris and in this video I'll show you how you can use the Meshape Windows 8 sample application that I created some time ago. Um, but before that I want to tell you guys about this cool contest coming from Meshape if you're a Windows 8 developer from Singapore, Malaysia or Philippines you stand a chance to win a Microsoft Surface with Windows RT device. All you need to do is go to Meshape's Facebook page. You can see that um, facebook.com slash Meshape and click on this um, contest um, bossy thing in here. And if you like the page, you'll see this other page. It's, I have the admin view, so I'm just gonna click on the fans. You'll see this page um, with details on how to join, how to register, and, and what you need to do, and what we're looking for. Um, so head over to um, facebook.com slash shape and, and check out the contest. So let's get started. Um, some time ago, I put up a Meshape Windows 8 sample application for those of you who want to get started with Meshape using uh, your Windows 8 skills. Um, first off, um, you need to get the source code. So you go to um, this site, uh, my blog site, chrispoe.wordpress.com and the easiest way to get or find the article is by using the search box in here. Just type in Meshape and um, let's just search for that and I'll show you how that works. Um, and at the bottom, you'll have two blog posts in here. One is the um, video for Meshape, um, which I did some time ago. Um, this is an overview of Meshape, so if you haven't heard of Meshape before, um, check out this video. It, it provides you with an overview of what Meshape is and how it's going to help you with your application development. Um, and at the bottom, there's this um, neat APIs for Windows 8 apps. Um, blog post which is what we're looking for um, because this details the um, or shows you what the sample code does and where to get it and what to do with it so you can get it um, or you can run it um, on your Windows 8 machine um, so I won't get into the details of this because this is what this video is for um, so first off <coughs> um, uh, you just simply need to download the source code um, which I have uploaded in github um, so if you get, go to this post it will take you to this link um, which goes to this um, github um, thing right here and if you don't have github you can simply download it as a zip file right here so um, but if you have github you can clone it in windows like this so um, up to you, it's really your choice. Um, once you have downloaded that, you'll have a package which is um, the Shape Example Solution with an app file you can just unzip and uh, uh, to a folder of your choice. And then you'll get this um, solution right here. And when you open it, it's gonna look like this. <clears throat> so originally, you won't have these values um, uh, plug in for you yet because it's going to be empty and you're supposed to plug in values for that but we'll, we'll get to that in a bit we'll just run this application so you know what it does before um, you start playing with it so I just pressed F5 and it's gonna run um, on my machine right here <clears throat> and it, it just gives you an example or two examples on how you can access Meshape APIs um, using Windows 8. One is using the Bitly API that is listed on the Meshape site and the other is uh, the Word Cloud API which provides you with a, an image of a cloud tag if you um, supply it with um, text. So <clears throat> if I click on the Bitly button right here, it's just going to go to the Bitly API service in Meshape and shorten this crispoggy.wordpress.com and this could be you could replace this with your own link um, this is hard coded uh, and you see there's a link here if I click on this it's going to take me to the WordPress site and there's this other button here if I click this it's going to go back to the uh, word cloud API in my shape and then use these words um, to generate an image of cloud tag so if I click here it's going to open up IE and you, you can see there's this image of a cloud tag um, over right here. So you could use several other um, texts for your use. But the point here is 
um, is that you could actually um, have a or, or use the same method um, provided in the sample code to access other must shape APIs for your own use. So um, before you get to that, you can see there's three things that you need to plug in here. Um, first is the must shape header, um, and you can get that by going to mashape.com. And I'm currently logged in um, in Mashape, so um, this is what I see when I log in. Um, you need to sign up for an account if you want to get the Mashape header, which you'll be sending for each request that you make to Mashape from your application. So um, if I want to get to the um, header uh, or get my own header, I'm going to click on read the docs. And there's an easier way for me to get that because the, the web page actually provides you with um, um, a, a, a web uh, a tool which generates that header for you based on your public and private keys. And then I'm going to click on plain rest. As you can see on the left side here, um, this one right here. So we're, I'm using REST to access um, Mashape from my Windows 8 application. So in here, it's automatically plugged in my pl public key and then my private key is, um, you can see that. When I click on generate header, it's gonna generate this long text for me, which is what you'll be using for your, um, for your application. Uh, so let's get to that application again. <clears throat> so let me just close this and go back to the um, okay, let me just uh, go back to the desktop. Let's get back to my project and just stop that. Okay, stop. So this is that shape header is what you plug in here. And then if you're using Bitly, if you're gonna try out the Bitly login, so I have here my login and my API key. You can simply go to bitly.com and. Um, let me just show you how that works. So I go to bitly.com. Or bit.ly. Kind of forgot. So what I have is a is a very old API key. Um, so I click on my account name here. So I'm logged in. I'm going to click on settings. And, and then click on advanced. And at the bottom, you'll see there's this thing called legacy API key. And I can click here to show me my um, legacy API key. So I signed up for a Bitly API a long time ago. Um, they're providing uh, OAuth 2, or they're recommending OAuth 2 right now. So if you need something similar, um, login or API key, I will be more than happy to provide you my own key uh, for your testing purposes. Um, just send me an email at chris at and uh, I'll, I'll share with you my key. So once you're done with that, um, you just need so plug that in, plug that in here and here in here. Um, for the word cloud, you don't need um, a separate API key, uh, but it, you will need the Mashape header, which is what you already provided in here. So um, so that's that's how you run the sample application. Now, after running the sample application, obviously you'd want something uh, a bit more exciting than what, what I created. So that's the point uh, where you go back to Mashape. Um, I'm just gonna open up Mashape here separately, or in a in a separate tab, um, just to show you what it looks like when you're not logged in or you haven't registered for an account yet. Um, go to Mashape.com, and this is. The, this is the view when you're not logged in to my shape and you'll see this page load up right here and you'll have this really nice search box in here so if I want to search for barcode um, um, it's going to give me a list of barcode scanner APIs which most of you might probably want to do or maybe QR uh, or even voice I don't know if there's a voice API in here. Yeah, there's one G. Um, and then there's even a home homework API. Um, they charge quite a bit, so, but it's interesting to check it out. Um, so there's this Insta filter that IO for manipulating your images. There's this face recognition. 
chat recognition might be um, a good uh, record. Wow, I can't spell. <laughs> um, and so you have uh, face recognition. You have OCR, which is really useful if you're doing, you know, taking a picture of a receipt and trying to get the text out of that. Um, so there's a lot of really cool and exciting APIs you can use from Meshape. Just go to Meshape.com. And again, um, if you want to win win a Microsoft Surface with Windows RT, head to um, Facebook.com slash Meshape and click on the contest link right here. So hopefully that was useful. Um, good luck to you guys if you're joining the, the contest. Thank you.